Hello friends, thank you for taking your valuable time and your interest in this research related topic. In this video, I'm interested in sharing with you about some basic information or details present in any research journal article in general. Okay. And the main objective of this video is to provide information that will benefit students, scholars, researchers, especially those who are in the initial stage of their research work. So to begin with, first of all, let us be clear, what is a research journal article? A research journal article is actually a type of research report. There are different kinds of research report and research journal articles is one among those. Okay. In addition, a research journal article is a report that describes the research completely from head to toe. Like what, how, when, where, and why the research was carried out or studied. And also include the results and discussions or the findings and interpretation along with the conclusion of the study. Therefore, a report which contains all these details and describes the research completely is known as a research journal articles. Okay. And its research journal articles serve two main purposes. First, as mentioned just now, it is a report where new and original findings are published. And secondly, any researcher working in the related field will use this published work as a source of secondary data and thus act as one of the source from where review of related literature is obtained. Any research journal article constitute three main sections, that is, it consists of a pre preliminary material, the body of the report, and the references. Preliminary material in research journal articles constitute information such as the title of the research work, the author's name, and the institution or the organization from where the research was carried out, and the abstract. For example, in this research journal article, these information constitute the preliminary material of a research journal article. Next, body of the research journal article. And it is the main portion of the research journal article and information such as introduction, methodology, Results and discussion where data are analyzed and interpreted, the conclusion and recommendations constitute the body of the research journal article. And lastly, references. References is the information provided at the end of the research report and contain all the detailed information about the source used in in-text citation. The list of detailed information are arranged alphabetically by surname is referred to as the reference list. So these are the information related to various sections that are there in any research journal article. Okay, next, what is a research journal article publication period and publication cycle? To understand them, Go to any research journal article and randomly pick any references. In this video, we randomly pick these three references. Okay. So in this example, we are least concerned about the detail of the information about the article, such as the author's name or the journal names or the title of the research. But the one which is of our great interest is or are the numbers which are highlighted in red color. What do they actually mean or indicate? Or 
Most importantly, what information do they provide? So when you refer to a volume of any research journal article, it actually indicates the publication period or the number of years the journal has been actively publishing research articles. And in short to remember, one year is equal to one volume. In this example, 11 here indicates the volume means 11 years since the inception of the research journal article by goes by the name and with bulletin Himalayan ecology. Similarly, for this journal, Soul Science Society of American Journal, it 68 indicates the volume, which means 68 years since the inception of the journals. And similarly, for the International Journal of Remote Sensing, 19 here indicates the volume, which indicates the number of years, which is inception is all the way in the 1980. So for example, supposingly, if this paper was published in 2020, then the volume here will be 27. Similarly, if this paper was published in the year 2020, this volume will be 84. And similarly, if this paper was published in the year 2020, the volume will be 40. Okay. Now we have understood the information contained in volume of a research journal article. Now let's see what information does the research journal article issue provide. In any given year or a volume, research journal will publish a series or specific number of issues. Therefore, the number of time a journal will publish a research journal article in a given year or per volume will be one of the following only. That is, the publishing cycle will be added annually, half yearly, quarterly, bi-monthly, month monthly or sometimes you'll have special issues. So if the publication cycle of a journal is only once in a year, there will be no number within parentheses after the volume. For example, here, you see 68 and then they came to pages number directly because it is being published only once in a year. If the publication cycle is twice in a year, that means between two issues, then the number you see after the, within parentheses, after the volume will be one and two. Similarly, if it's published four times in a year, that is quarterly, then you'll have four different issues. If the publication cycle is bi-monthly, that means publication will, uh, the journal will publish six issues per year. Okay, then you'll have the number as one, two, three, four, five, six. And if the publication cycle is monthly, then there will be 12 issues per year. And sometimes a journal will publish a special issues. And in such cases, the issues will revolve only around a specific theme or publish work from any conference or proceedings. Therefore, these are the basic details and information that I want to share with you with respect to research journal articles. Now, let's see what are research journals. For simplification, let's say when a researcher conducts any research study on any particular topic of his or her interest, at the end of the research study, that is important is the finding of the study. And if these findings are new and original in nature, then the finding of the research study should or need to be made known or published to the scientific world or the information world. Why? Because the research study's finding will fill the information gap and provide additional knowledge and scientific support to the existing knowledge present. So it is here where to publish. Then you will publish such findings in a research journal. What is a research journal? So therefore, research journal is actually a platform or the house that publish a new research finding. Okay. For example, let's say 
after you carry out a research work and you find some interesting findings and you want to publish that work so you prepare a manuscript and then you submit that manuscript to the journal and the research journal will evaluate the manuscript and based on the knowledge and information about your research finding they will either accept your report or your scientific findings or they will reject it. in case if the research finding is not accepted by the journal then it will be rejected and it will be sent back to the source or the authors but in case if it is accepted then the research work will be published okay now once it is pu published and it's available in the public domain in the form of an online or a printed format then this information or knowledge will be accessible to the public okay then it can be used for academic as well as scientific purposes there are thousand numbers of research journals however they vary from one another in terms of their discipline or subject branch or themes so on and so forth for better understanding and clarification let us use this example this is a research journal that goes by the name and envis bulletin himalayan ecology this journal published work related to environment and ecology the volume number we referring here is volume number 24 and which was published in the year 2016 the publication cycle of this research journal is annually because you don't find any or uh, any number which are within parentheses after the volume so therefore we indicate that it is published annually so now inside this research journal there are different number of research journal articles written by different authors or group of authors thus a research journal article are the building blocks of a research journal and both research journal and research articles are significantly interdependent to one another lastly when a researcher write down the script and complete it and is ready for publication at this stage it is called the manuscript and then the manuscript will be then sent to the journal for publication and if it's accepted and it get published the manuscript will from now on be technically called or known as a research article or a research paper research article and research paper are synonyms to one another okay so these are the references that i use with this we have come to the end of this uh, video and i hope this video will help you to understand about some basic information or detail which are present any research journal articles once again thank you so much for watching this video and god bless